good morning our viewers welcome on our video today uh, as you can see we are dealing with the biology this is form 2 we have questions and answers here this one is an exam uh, that is out of 100 marks you can see it is very long very long I will request you to watch uh, this video so that you can benefit out of uh, this uh, discussion uh, if this is your first time to watch our videos I would request you to take this opportunity and sell, uh, and uh, hit uh, subscribe button, like button to this video, and it will be recommended to other viewers. At the subscribers, we really want to thank you guys uh, for the support that you have uh, given us. Uh, question number one: You are told name the respiratory surfaces in mammals. Respiratory surfaces in mammals are alveolus. In fish, they are called a gill filament. If you write gill only, uh, you get it wrong. Um, B, you are told the three characteristics of this the site named A above. Uh, what is the characteristics of alveolus? Uh, number one, they are moist. They have moist surface. Number two, highly supplied with bland capillaries, that is highly vascularized. Number three, they have thin epithelium. And number four, uh, they, 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 are, they have increased surface area. Question number two, you are told, name the organelle that perform each of the following functions in a cell. Uh, A, transport of package packaged glycoproteins that one is gogi bodies you can also call them gogil apparatus b destruction of worn out cells that one is lysomes uh, synthesis of protein that one is ribosomes uh, question number three you are told some form one student what tend to collect the following animals for study in the laboratory state the suitable operator they should use uh, uh, to get or to catch the following animals a roman a flying insects what uh, appropriate uh, operator or suitable operator that one is a uh, sweep net if they, wa they wanted to uh, collect or catch crawling stinging insect the best operator is a pair of forceps they also wanted to collect some small animals from from the tree bats. And the best operator is Puta. Uh, let's go to question number four. You are told the study the diagram below and answer the questions that follow. You can see the diagram here. It has a starch grain, part labeled A, part labeled B, and another part, a lot like. Uh, you are told this one is fat lipid droplets uh, you are told identify the structure labeled A and B A and B the A is stroma and B is granum stroma granum you can see and B you are told what processes take place in the part labeled A and B processes that take a part in uh, or take place in a stroma and granum uh, part A uh, we have carbon for oxide fixation B is photosynthesis uh, question number five you are told state three environmental factors that increase the rate of transpiration we have high light intensity number two high temperature number three strong wind number four low humidity number five low atmospheric uh, pressure let's go to number six you're told differentiate between uh, transpi uh, transpiration and gatition differentiate between a uh, transpiration and gatition and uh, we have a table here we have drawn our table so that we can uh, differentiate the two we have one sign and transpiration Transpiration. Uh, transpiration is a process of water from plant in gaseous form, while addition is use of water in plants in liquid form. Uh, transpiration occurs in leaves, cuticle, lenticles, and waste matter. Addition occurs in, in hydrothons, uh, 
that is where it happens uh, question number b you're told state two conditions that are necessary for uh, opening of the stomata that one is high ph number two is light question number seven explain why transit are not efficient in transporting water up to the plant uh, why are they not uh, why are they not efficient uh, uh, the reason is they have perforated cross cross walls that hinder smooth flow of water. Uh, you are told the uh, next question: Name a structural unit of lipids. That one is fatty acids and glycerol. Uh, next, you are told the state three important functions of lipids in living organism. What are the functions of uh, li lipids? in uh, living organism number one uh, lipids form part of the cell membrane but two uh, uh, provide ins insulation of bodies of animals and next it's a source lipids are a source of metabolic water and then the last one uh, they provide energy in absence of carbohydrates let's go to number nine state two ways in which uh, xylem are adapted to their function what is the work of the, the xylem is to uh, transport uh, transport water uh, uh, from the soil to 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 all parts of the plants so uh, how are they how are they adopted adapted to their function number one they are lignified that is to say uh, they are thickened they have thickened walls to prevent collapsing number two they are narrow to facilitate capillarity number three they are hollow and tubular tubular for continuous flow of water and then number four in the last one signed walls pitened are pitened to allow lateral movement of water and mineral salt let's go to question number 10 you are told the state two differences state two differences between closed and open circulatory system two differences between open and uh, and a closed and open circulatory system this question is very common they keep on repeating it so in a closed circulatory system blood flows in a confined or enclosed vessels while in open circulatory system blood is not confined to vessels but flow in uh, cavities and is in a direct contact with uh, tissues uh, then blood flow under high pressure in a closed circulatory system while in open it flows under low pressure let's go to question number 11 you are told to find the following terms uh, a tissue so much for watching uh, we hope that you have really benefited and uh, remember you have said they keep on repeating these questions and uh, it will be uh, good for you uh, to keep on watching uh, videos on uh, biology we have uploaded many of them here and other subjects like chemistry physics mathematics uh, kiswahili and also set books those videos are here for you and uh, if you have not subscribed we request you to take this opportunity uh, hit that subscribe button and like button we want to really th thank you so much our subscriber uh, for taking your time to watch this video uh, kindly like this video and it will be recommended to other viewers across the world thank you so much for watching until next time uh, goodbye for now